Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I'm making some twisted wire toggle clasps inspired by the flat wire toggles and also the beaded wire toggles. You are going to need some 18 or 20 gauge wire, some flat pliers, cutters, and your looping pliers. I also am using a ring form and we're going to start with about 8 inches of 20 gauge wire and we're going to make a loop and crisscross the wires and then twist them. Holding the wires with your thumb and finger, keeping them spread out at an equal angle and then when you get a little further along you can hold it with the nylon jaw pliers and we're going to measure about two and a quarter inches depending on how big you want to make your loop. Then we're just going to bend the wire at an angle above the little loop. So just bend it straight out at a right angle. And I'm using the end of a ring mandrel. It's the size four. You could do any size loop that you like. And we're going to bring it around. And if you've twisted it too much, you can untwist it a little bit just to make that perfect circle. And then put it back on the round form and twist the ends of the wire around to secure them. We'll do the same with the other wire. Just bend them right around to finish them up. Make sure they don't get too tangled up. So once you're happy with the ends, you're just going to pinch it in a little bit to make sure they're just laying nice and flat there. And then we're going to clip them with our flush cutters. These are the Zeron Micro Shear Flush Cutters. And then with the Zeron Tweezer Nose Pliers, I'm going to pinch in those ends. So there's no little pokey ends in there. So just keep adjusting it till it's nice and straight and the ends are tucked in. And there we have our loop. For the stick, we'll get about four to five inches of 20 gauge artistic wire. And we are going to make a loop on one end. So a centered loop on one side. And we're going to measure about one and eight eighth inches. And then we're going to bend it up and around. So we're making a stick with a loop on either end and those loops are centered. So that's our beginning stage and then bend the wires back towards the center. So there's the loop and we're going to measure halfway and then bend the wire straight down in the middle. So it's like a T formation. So now we'll bend the other wire towards the middle and then bend it up. So we have both wires coming up in the middle and they're right in the center there. And so now we're just going to bend one end around to secure it in place. Just give it a little tug. I've cut my wires way too long. Four to five inches should be plenty of wire. We're going to pinch that in. And then we're going to bend that wire back and do our loop. So we have the loop there. And then we're going to hold the loop and bring the wire around, full turn around. And then we want to bring it around that bar a couple of times to really secure it in the center. So it's nice and secure. Bring it right around. And then we're going to clip it. go so it's nice and clipped and pinch that in with our tweezer nose pliers so there's no little pokey ends. Just 
give it a good little pinch. And then we're going to hold either end with the flat pliers and just turn them opposite directions to make our twist. We just take your time with it, just hold them and twist, and then replace your pliers in position and twist. And we're just going to keep going until we have a nice even twist that is similar to the twist in the loop. So just keep going around and around. And then once you're happy with that twist, we can do any little adjustments with our tweezer nose pliers. Make sure it's nice and straight. You can even hammer it a little bit to harden it up. And if you make it with 18 gauge wire, it will be even more firm. So just go around with your pliers, straighten it up. And you can get your nylon jaw pliers to do the finishing touches. Just press it with those nylon jaw pliers. These are the beetle on nylon jaw pliers. And there we have our toggle. So once it is on a chain or a beaded cord, you'll just be able to slip it through there. And there you go. So there we have it with the 18 gauge wire or the 20 gauge wire. I'll link up the other tutorials for the flat wire toggle and for the beaded wire toggle in the description below. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.